This video is made possible by the following sponsors. Make sure to check out their products as well as the rest of my gear in the description below. Hey guys, Reasonably Excited Boy here and welcome to Assetto Corsa Competizione. As you can probably read in the top right hand corner, this is the early access version of the game, the first version that the public has been allowed to play with. And as such, we currently have very, and I mean very limited content. We have one car, the Lamborghini Huracan, and one track, the Nurburgring. GP circuit. But luckily for you guys, one car and one track is all I need to do my first impression. So to get an idea of how this game handles and hopefully get that across to you guys, I'm going to be using one of these special events. You might have noticed that we're on the special events menu right now. That's because this is pretty much the only challenge style content available in ACC at the moment. And I'm going to be doing the sprint race there on the far right. The description of the event says that this is your first race with the 2018 spec Lamborghini Huracan GT3. And due to a mistake in yesterday's qualifying session, your starting position will be last on the grid. Take your time, find your pace, stick to the plan. We are aiming for points, so my target position is to finish 10th or higher. The event will also give me a chance to see how the AI act. Uh, of course, AI in a game like this are pretty important, so I'm really hoping they're good and not another Project Cars 2 job. Anyway, enough intro. Let's jump in to a set of course at Competizione for the first time on this channel. Well, here we are in a set of course at Competizione. Right, this is a race oh, race engineer. Um, So P10 is our goal for this race, as we said in the description earlier. We start P19, so a bit of work to do. I very much think that we are capable. Got a Ferrari in front of us, also a couple of Audis up there as well. Just showing that they are in the game right now, you just can't drive them. But I do have control here behind or on the pace lap. Nice and easy, and away we go then. Oh, fight the traction control through the first corner. Sorry Lambo, bit of contact straight away. Wouldn't it be GT3 racing without a little bit of contact? Here we are then hurtling down towards T1 for the first time. Up into sixth gear, going to break nice and early. Really lean on that ABS, coming down to the hairpin, just making sure we don't run into anyone. Going to just slot in there, past the car to the left. Oh, a bit bumpy on the inside. Now for the stadium section for the first time. But a bit tricky through here with cold tyres and cold brakes. You really feel the cold tyres in this game. The car just does not perform the same way. Very lethargic on the cold tires, as you'd probably expect. Same with the brakes as well, you want to get them warm. Through there with no incident, and more importantly, two places gained. So I'm happy with that. The middle sector now, just easy through these corners the first time out. You can see the car is quite slidey, even with traction control and ABS at the moment. Now look to the inside, coming down to the hairpin, try and get past this Ferrari. Got the grunt in the Lambert, for sure. Heavy on the brakes. Uh, just about managing to keep it on the inside. Should be able to get that place done if I can just get on the throttle. Nice, there you go. GG up to 16th. Through the Schumacher S. Very tricky. It's a big bump on the right there from my practice session. So if you take a bit too much curve through there, you are just propelled off the track at speed. Which isn't really what I'm into in these races. Rear end's a little bit skittish early on. Tyres just about coming up to temperature now. The rear brakes aren't really coming up to temp. That's because we're running a safe setup, as it's called. It has quite a forward brake bias, meaning that we are more likely to uh, understeer coming into a corner than to oversteer and enter the corner backwards, which is not really ideal. Taking the fast S here. Very fun to do quickly, but right now the AI in front making things a little bit uh, tricky. They're a bit slow at the moment. Didn't have many options, or any options actually, in fact, to to change the AI around just to see options we're given for the event. They are first lap completed in race stream in ACC. And I must say, I came into this game being a little bit sceptical like a lot of people. Of course, as mentioned before, this game is pretty much focused on one series and one series only, which is GT3. You think, oh God, here we go. Another GT3 game, another GT3 series. Um, given that they're sort of all the rage at the moment or have been for the last couple of years, actually. Uh, but I am pleasantly surprised. We'll talk about force feedback first and how the cars, or how this car feels. I guess there's no other car to, to compare it to. Uh, force onto the kerb there. Cars on the inside didn't want to come across and cut them off. So yeah, GT3s. I don't really like GT3s when driving that much, but I'm actually really enjoying this one. Oh, car off to the left. He's been punted. GT3 is going to GT3. 
The setup right now, you can very much feel that setup has a big change in how these cars drive. And I know that sounds like a very simple thing to say, but I've driven both uh, both the setups. So there's a, 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 a fast setup and a stable one, which I'm on at the moment. The fast one is terribly skittish, but you can tell there's speed in it. And this is a bit more understeery, a bit nicer to drive with. So it's one I'm using for this race. See, I'm fighting a little bit of understeer there. But it's predictable and I can feel it coming, which is important. The car behind is really all over me now. Oh, come on. Let me try and pick up the pace a little bit. I'm a little bit slow at the moment. Just trying to find my spot on track and how things are going. There's no fuel usage on or anything like that. Again, I think that's to come later on in the non-early access builds. So it's just a race to the finish. Force feedback. Detailed enough. Um, comparing it to a, a set of Corsa, it feels... There is some similarity there, definitely. Um, I'd say that at the moment I still prefer the Assetto Corsa GT3 handling, but I think that's more because uh, I'm using an RSW and I haven't really dialed in my wheel very well yet. There are only a couple of options for me to choose from, so I'm not quite 100% there with uh, wheel feel at the moment. But otherwise, it's a very good first impression, enough detail to know what the car is doing. Um, if I were to give it, um, I don't know how I'd describe it maybe, I'd describe it like a better version of the iRacing GT3s in terms of feedback. There's a lot more weight than I would like there to be um, for me to find the detail. It isn't a matter of turning up detail and turning down weight. Wow, that's very wide there. You can hear as I get offline, picking up all the dust and all the, uh, the nasty stuff there offline. That's pretty cool. Side by side. You can already tell the AI is better than it is in the set of Corsa. They're a ton better. Uh, haven't seen anyone absolutely wreck it yet, apart from that guy on the left who's just chilling out, leave him alone. But uh, otherwise, it seems to be pretty, pretty competitive. I've not been forced off the circuit or punted from behind Project Cars 2 style yet. Still waiting for that to happen though. But yeah, I'd say like a, a more predictable version of iRacing's GT3 cars. And, you know, I drove the Audi in that for quite some time. The Audi is essentially just a Lamborghini Huracan anyway. Um, so it's a good comparison to make. Get off this curb. Nice and easy. My favourite feature so far has to be the uh, the tyre warming and the brake warming as well because I am getting a bit faster as time goes on. I'm still not quite where I want to be in terms of ultimate speed around the circuit. You see, I'm struggling a little bit out of corners. I'm not quite 100% comfy, but that's just me not being a very good GT3 driver, to be honest. Also, the conditions seem to be a little bit different. I remember I did some hot lapping earlier on uh, in on this track, of course. Only this track in the game right now. Uh, and, and earlier... Whoa, God! Got on the curb there. Car got loose. Just about managed to... <laughs> just about managed to keep it going. On the throttle there. Traction control leading on it big time out the corner. Um, but I was lapping, lapping a lot faster in the cooler conditions. I was doing uh, 58s. So four seconds faster than this at the moment. It might be because this car is sort of simulated with heavier fuel as well, but a lot of that info isn't really available at the moment. It's a very bare bones title. Uh, it's what they said it would be, of course. Early access meaning that uh, things will come into the game as the game develops, but at the moment you're just essentially paying for one car on one track, so it's hard to recommend this to anyone. Um, but the good part is I'm about to get murked, I think, by a Ferrari. No, thank you, sir. Also, I've still got some places to gain if I'm going to actually complete this event. I've still got to gain five places. I need to just get good. Come on. Car feels super understeery through there. I might turn down the TC a couple, uh, couple of clicks. I'm feeling that um, it's not allowing me to rotate the car enough. I've got TC and ABS on the, the wheel here. You can adjust both of those on the fly as well as fuel mix as well. I think, which is pretty damn cool. And I noticed also in the setup menu that you have brake wear. It looks like brake wear anyway. Um, so maybe for longer races, that might be something you have to do is change the brake uh, brake pads and maybe even the discs. They do those. They do that, of course, in the longer events, but very slow. It says in the top right as they go through the Schumacher S. Come on! Oh, that's a bit too wide. There, see, I'm pushing the car now, and it's not reacting. Easy peasy. There you go, right. Need to focus on the guys in front. I'm falling back. Yeah, I can see where temp is, but I'm nowhere near close enough to do anything about it at this moment. AI feels like a good match for me on this setting. 
I'm not just pulling up to the back of them. They're challenging me a lot. They are attempting... They sort of show their nose, but they don't really go through with it. Um, they seem very cautious of the player, which is a good thing and a bad thing. But of course, you want to have AI that are going to challenge you, but try not to be as uh, scary as the F1 AI. There you go. Much better lap time. Much, much better lap time. They're going to say that's down to the traction control. All right, come on. And feel the car sliding there when I put it into first gear and I, the rear tyres locked for a second, the rear wheels locked for a second. Right, I'm going to send it up inside here. Got to be careful though, these cars don't have infinite grip. They are GT3 cars, so they're actually fairly easy to drive uh, at a reasonable pace. But once you start cranking up or oh, taking off a TC and start going for the ultimate lap time, they become a bit more leery. So in that aspect, they're quite realistic. Or believable, I should say. I like that word better than realistic. I've not driven one of these cars before in real life. I doubt I ever will. Nearly 10 minutes into this race. And something that I, I can see myself doing with this as... Um, oh, okay. As time goes on, is I can see myself enjoying driving this over an endurance stint. You know, I, I always... One of the things I like about endurance racing is having the cars easy to drive... It does have pace in it, but you have to sort of have this controlled aggression as you drive around. And that's how I'm feeling right now in this this GT3 car. It'd be really fun, I think, to do longer events in it. And it seems that's what the game is sort of made for. If you looked in the... Uh, if you didn't see it, you can rewind the video now. But in the special event screen, there are hot stint challenges. Where you have to drive around for 30 minutes at a time. And try and have consistent laps, consistent times. Which is really damn cool. It's great to see a game encouraging that. Thank you, very animated race engineer. Got a good speed through that chicane there. It does feel like at the moment with this setup, I'm having to err on the side of caution rather than push it. I feel like a lot of the corners are fairly slow. We are gaining a bit of time, 159.2, so cars getting faster as we're going on. Apparently I'm now ready to enter a competition. Oh, 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 oh. The send, the intentional send up to P13. P10 is a reality. Got to just keep pushing. I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely enjoying driving a GT3 car right now, which is not something that I can say about um, other games, really. I remember when I drove the, uh, the R8 and I racing with Bailey, and I just... We, <laughs> we only drove that so we could do some Enduros together. I hated that car so much. Okay. I'm a bit, I'm a bit weak for this section compared to the AI. I don't seem to have the same... Uh, grip in the tyre. You can feel when the tyre's about to go, just like that, and that managed to catch it. Going to keep tight here, give this Lambo behind me nowhere to go. Thank you very much. Uh, Performance-wise, it's okay. Um, I've got the motion blur turned off, which is something that comes as standard. I hate motion blur in video games. It just makes me feel ill after a while. Um, there are other views to choose from as well. Here is the cam my tent is used in a set of Corsa, the sort of right on the dash cam, although Driving it now is messing me up a little bit because I've not driven this cam before. Also a helmet cam as well, which is somewhat uh, vomit-inducing. But I guess it's good for the uh, the guys that don't have VR. I'm not sure if VR is going to be supported by this yet. I haven't actually checked. I'll try and put something on screen now if I remember, which I won't. So <laughs> don't at me in the comments. There are different views available, but this is a definitely a sim game. It's meant to be played as a sim. It's not uh, been dulled down at all in that aspect. All the setup options are very in-depth as well. Now I can feel the tyres through there, sort of struggling to bite. You can really feel when they let go and you're just sliding at the front. Easy, easy, easy. Right, on the front. That's a nice exit. This could be a good opportunity to pass. We're deep in the slipstream of the Audi in front. Thank you very much. Come on. Pull me, pull me, pull me, pull me. Going to dive to the inside. Just break just a second after he does. Wow, very late on the brakes there. Almost ran into the back of the Ferrari in front, but another place gained up to P12. P10's just in front now. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Car got loose, and I'm going to lose that place I just gained. God damn it. I'd say there is a little bit of... Um, those sort of slides you don't really feel coming. The rear end, lazy slides. Um, the only reason you know they're coming is you've driven through there before, and the car's done that before. 
That might have been me. I left off the I left off the throttle quite severely. It might have been a weight transfer thing, but that Ferrari's just chilling out there. He's having a good time. Down we go. And of course, this game does come with rain, which is quite exciting, as well as a day-to-night transition, which I don't think is fully implemented right now. Um, I'll have to again double check that and put that on screen. I haven't seen it in the game yet. Um, but these are all very exciting things for endurance races because there isn't really any game that does that well. I mean, you have uh, Alpha Tattoo that does do rain and day to night, but the rain is odd and day to night seems to have interesting graphical things when you're on certain machines. iRacing, of course, has no day to night at the moment and no, uh, no rain. But the rain, I have driven the rain in this. I'll, if you guys are interested, I'll do a video of me driving in the rain, give you more of an insight. Um, it's, I think it still needs a bit of work. It does just sort of feel like a slippier, uh, dry track at the moment. Uh, but the effects are really nice. And I'd love to do some racing in the wet, especially if it's one of those uh, transitions where, you know, you have to guess the rain and hope for the best. And it's really nice to have that in-game, in especially for endurance, because that is a part of endurance racing. All right, okay, so same position we were in the last lap. Pretty much pushing this alley down the straight. He's going to go defensive. I'm going to go to the inside, so thank you, mate. This time it's going to stick. Ferrari in front is looking at the uh, other Audi. Right, okay, let's be nice and calm through here. Oh, good exit out of the hairpin just about compared to the Ferraris anyway. He's wide. Going to hug this curb on the inside. Curb is not very grippy. We're still just alongside. Oh, make it work, make it work, make it work. Running into the back of the Audi. He's so slow through there. Got to give the room to the Ferrari on the inside, but he's going to have no room to accelerate. And there we are, through into P11. Nearly, nearly past these guys. I think these are the Am guys I'm with right now. I think the Pro guys are all full buggered off. Oh, that Ferrari's not happy that he's been passed. Yeah, the, the pro guys are already coming up the Schumacher S. I'm really behind those lot. Come on, easy through here. Nice and tidy. You realise these cars actually en enjoy smoothness a bit. They aren't like prototypes. You can't just throw them from one end to another. You need to introduce them to the corner nicely and then give them room to exit. I also love that you can see you can see it on the left hand side of your screen just above my webcam. They've got the official stylings really of the uh, of the overlay for the positioning. That's a really nice touch. There's a lot of info on screen right now. I wouldn't have this much info when I was racing, but I thought I'd keep it all on just to kind of show you uh, how it all looks when it's all turned on. Top right, there is some sort of consistency and pace bonus up there. I'm not entirely sure how that works yet, um, but it's a nice thing to have definitely. Sorry, my monitor just turned off for a second there, so I had to look at my OBS to <laughs> take that out again. Thank you, monitor. I appreciate that. It's okay, though. Only one more place to gain. All right, good exit. Traction control. Thank you very much. I'm liking the TC option where it is right now. Of course, these cars do run with TC in real life, so it's nice to have the option to do that. Guy in front trying to break the toe. We'll see how aggressive we can be into the hairpin. Wow, he's a lot slower through there. I'm just going to show my nose, see if he... All through it or not. So I'm on the outside now. Very slippy out here, as noted. Am I going to make it stick? <laughs> Even with the traction control, the car trying to break through, uh, break loose, and we're up to P10. That's our goal now. See if we can get some hot laps in. I'm interested to see if, I, if I've been held up at all by these guys. I doubt it. I think I've just been slow in general, but... Oh, it's good to find out. Both gear through here. You can hear the front tyres... Begging for some form of mercy. I'm not going to give it, though. I'm a mean boy. You just stamp on the throttle there of traction control. It just carries you out of the corner right now. Now we can pull away. Only two and a half minutes remaining, though, so I doubt we're going to catch anyone, but... Have a bit of fun, at least. Sounds are better than the last game as well. You have the uh, very annoying compressor sound that the gearbox makes when you change down the gear, but it's there in real life, so it should be there in the game. Easy on the curb. Now on the throttle. Again, not, you want to just sort of jump between them, really. You don't want to do much more than that. Maybe a bit wide, I think. No, just about going to slow down. You can't really uh, just stab the brakes in this. Just hold it. ABS really saves you. Again, these cars have ABS in real life, so I have no, uh, no guilt in using them. 
Oh, yeah, already matching our best lap time so far. Just shows you how much we're being held up by having to fight those guys. Right. Speed, 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 speed. Very bumpy there on the entrance next to the curbs around here. They, they feel scary, you know, they feel like real-life curbs almost. In a lot of games, you can really abuse curbs and get away with it. Not so much in this. They're sort of waiting for you to make the mistake and go wide, and then you end up uh, getting chucked off the track if you aren't careful. A nice lap there. See if we can improve on it now that we're free. Let's first go out there, soft. Even though I'm using traction control, it's a good idea not to just plant the throttle because you see what happens. The car still wants to get loose. Bring it to the inside nicely. Okay, good, good, good. Getting a bit of real life sun glare at the moment as I've recorded this at a really bad time of day. This game has a lot of potential, I think. It really does. I'm looking forward to seeing how things develop. As I said, you're probably wondering, Jimmy, is it worth me buying right now? Um, I'll say one thing. If you enjoyed the last Assetto Corsa, you'll enjoy this, definitely. Um, be aware, there are there is no mod support from what I can see. So uh, one of the big reasons for liking the last Assetto Corsa is there are a lot of really nice mods that came out for it. Uh, I'm not sure you're going to get that same experience in this. But if you are a fan of, say, uh, GTR 2, that sort of game, where you, you're given a series, given a bunch of cars to choose from and to drive, and you actually get to compete in a series as opposed to making your own, then you'll really enjoy this. And that's the sort of vibe I'm picking up right now is the GT3 version of GTR2 almost. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing how the career is. There's nothing on that at all so far. As I said, it is just a single uh, hot lapping mode, all these events that I'm doing now. So content is limited. But if you buy it now, from what I, from what I can tell from their marketing, is that you, you'll get the game and pretty much not pay any more Unless there's DLC out in the future. I will, random man. There you go. Good through there. Oh, right up on the curb. You can really feel the jolt in the wheels you take to the curb there. Yeah, a bit of a lonely race now that I've got rid of the AI, but we are going a bit quicker. Well done, mate. Thanks. Interesting to see the, the big gap, though, between what I assume is the Pro and the Am. Oh, I've messed up that corner, or have I? A little bit wide there, the tyres scrubbing at the front. Session is over, so it's the last lap now. Easy does it. Now, I'm, I'm very much looking forward to seeing how the game develops. And I've got to say a thank you to... I forget which company it was. It was some, uh, some media company who basically sent me the... Uh, <laughs> I'm such a professional who sent me this code. I'm, I'm actually playing this now on the 10th. Uh, game comes out on the 12th. Of course, you guys are going to see it on the 12th because that's when the embargo is over. Um, but I hope this video serves as some sort of, uh, I don't know, some sort of guide or some sort of insight for you to whether you want to buy the game or not. Again, now I'm a massive sim racing enthusiast. If you haven't guessed already, um, so I'm happy. I'm happy to invest any money into any new title just to see how it is. Luckily, I don't have to do that so much anymore. Um, and I, I, of course, am going to be watching this game very closely. Uh, but if you're expecting something exactly the same as a set of Corsa in terms of modding, in terms of uh, making tracks instead of silly Lego cars and vans, etc., you aren't going to get that. But if you want something a bit more organised, a bit more focused around maybe AI racing and endurance racing and racing online, which I think is pretty much what these guys are aiming for, then this is going to be a game for you. Definitely. And getting it now whilst a bit cheaper, probably not a bad idea. So yeah, final lap. Oh, God. Fun fact, I've sat up there where that green smoke is uh, coming from. It's pretty damn cool. Into the braking zone for the last time. Sort of said I couldn't race with the guys at the end there, but otherwise AI was good. The race was good. And for something that is in such early access, a lot of potential. Cross the line there. We complete the objective only just finishing P10 out of P19. Not going to get a faster lap either, but fairly consistent. Excellent. I will do. Sorry for the odd cut there, guys. I've got a little bit of a phone call coming in, but I was going to say, I very much hope you enjoyed that video. I really enjoyed doing it, and as I said, definitely going to have eyes on this in the future. If you did enjoy the video, then please hit that like button. If you really enjoyed it, hit subscribe to be notified of future videos, and make sure to hit the bell icon as well, because that way you get a notification whenever a new video goes up, maybe more ACC, or whenever I do a live stream. Uh, take care, have an awesome day, see you all next time.